Today I thought I'd come on here and do a little dupe video of some famous eyeshadow palettes. So the company that I'm using today or going going over is called C Color Cosmetics. They are a company that dupes a lot of high-end eyeshadow palettes, such as they dupe some Natasha Denona, they dupe Jeffree Star, they dupe Laura Lee, and I'm going to show you some of the dupe palettes and do a few swatches of them for you. I don't want it to be too long, so I'm only going to do a few of the dupes that I have. I have one that's a dupe of the Kylie Birthday Blast and the one, or so, no, my, my bad. It's the Sipping Pretty by Kylie Cosmetics. This one I'm not going to really go over today because I'll do a video dedicated on one eye with the dupe palette and one eye with the real palette. So this is the actual Kylie palette. And the dupe from C Color Cosmetics is called Birthday Blast. I haven't really played with this one because I've played with the original. So this is the first time I'm opening this. Here's the hope and it's intact, right? So here is the dupe. Brand new. What do you think? How do they? I'll do some swatches, but I'm not going to do it in this video. Because I'll do it in the next video where I compare them with one on, on each eye. And that way we can kind of see how well they, they match up. And I will say, C Color Cosmetic, Cosmetics does a phenomenal job of, of duping a lot of these higher end palettes. So the first one I'm going to show you is the one I've done today. And that is the Unisex One Palette. This is what's on my eyes right now. This is a dupe for the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas. I have notes over here because so, I can't remember. I do not own the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette, but you can always research it online. But this is the dupe for it. It's pretty darn close. I have watched some videos by Hot Mess Mama, and she does, is it a dupe or a waste of money? And she does comparisons with the actual palettes on one eye and then the dupe on the other and you really cannot tell a difference. So this is unisex one and a dupe for the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas. And again, that's what I've got on my eyes today is the dupe. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. These shadows blend amazing. So the next one I have is the unisex number two palette. This is a dupe for Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer. That's another eyeshadow palette that unfortunately I do not own. I don't own the, the Beauty Killer palette. This is the Unisex 2 and the dupe for the Jeffree Star. I haven't even dipped into this one yet. So I've had these for quite a while, but I really haven't dipped into them. Today was the first time and I started with the Unisex 1. And created this look. So the next palette is, of course, the unisex. Oh, I almost dropped it. Unisex three. Unisex three is a dupe for the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. I think that's how you say it. Androgyny. I just really want to drop this palette today. It's not meant for me. So this is the C Color Cosmetics dupe for the Androgyny. If anybody owns that, just I want to swatch this blue here that blue I swatch that on my arm if I swatch every single one I'm gonna have let's see let's do it here I'll have an armful of swatches but that blue mm. about the green let's swatch the green Oh, that green's gorgeous too. Now I don't know what eyeshadow palette I want to play with tomorrow because I have so many of these dupes. Sadly, I haven't really even played with the the real ones, you know, the high-end ones, so I don't know how they compare. 
But I will put the Kylie Cosmetics up against the Sipping Pretty. Or the Sipping Pretty against the Birthday Bash. Next one we have is the Unisex 4. This is a dupe for the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. If you've ever heard of Dominique Cosmetics, I think I wanted to buy the Latte Palette at one point, and I never did. And I got the dupe for it. Like I said, most of the time, these dupe palettes perform better than the originals. Sometimes they, they blend better. They look better. They mostly, you know, look the, the exact same. Let's see. Still got the plastic cover on this one. Peeling that off. I want to swatch. I want to swatch that shimmer right there. Mm. That's gorgeous. Yummy. Mm. Ooh. How about this smoky color right here? That's this color down here in the corner. Let's watch that one. Where are we going to do that? Right here under the blue. Whoa! Look at that color. Mm. I absolutely love eyeshadow. I love makeup in general. It's horrible addiction guess I could be addicted to drugs instead it's makeup so that one again is the dupe for the Dominique Cosmetics latte latte palette next one is the last one out of this collection and this is the unisex five this is the dupe for the Dominique Cosmetics lemonade palette this is the one that I wanted to pick up by Dominique Cosmetics was a lemonade palette I've seen some YouTubers do videos with the Lemonade palette, and it just looked so pretty. But I never did buy it, but again, I have the dupe. Like I said, I really have not even dug into these palettes. I should have. But that yellow right there, I feel like I could do a badass look with that. Let's also do that yellow shimmer. Oh, I'm running out of room here. Let, let's go. Let's go to this side of my arm. Oh, that one looks like pure sunshine. Like that and the yellow, yellow. Under it, we'll do that other yellow. Mm. Love it. They also have a ton of dupes for the Huda Beauty palettes, which I bought that collection too. You can get this entire collection, unisex one through five, for $40. Normally they run about $14 a piece. If you were to buy the original high-end palettes, they're, it's going to cost you around you know, $35 to $45, somewhere in that range for the actual high-end palette. So you're saving a lot of money by buying these dupes. And like I said, look at my eyes today. I, I love this look. And again, you know, I couldn't compare it to, to the high-end one because I don't own the high-end one. But in another video, I will do the comparison of one eye to the next. So the next ones that I have are the dupes for the Huda Beauty Obsession palettes. So we have Obsessed 1. Obsessed one, I guess it doesn't really tell me the colors, like the Huda Beauty ones will tell you, you know, are they nudes or neutrals, whatever. I got a broken mirror on this one. I probably did it myself, though. So that is a dupe for one of the Hudas. I'm not sure exactly which one. I should have done a little more research on these ones, but I wasn't really planning on including them in this video. I was just going to do the unisex. 
This is the Obsessed 2. These are the colors. I do have some of the Huda Beauty real palettes, so the actual minis. I don't have too many, but I do have a few. So I'll have to look up and see which ones I have and which one is a dupe for it and then do a comparison video of these also. This is the Obsessed 3. I'm out of order here. Here we go. Here is the Obsessed 4 by C Color Cosmetics. Again, these are all Huda Beauty mini dupes. Ooh, I feel like I have that one somewhere. I'll have to look. I can't remember the Huda Beauty one that's, this one is for, but I'm pretty sure I have that. So that might be another one that I could do a comparison on. Here is the C Color Cosmetics Obsessed number five. That's the colors in the Obsessed number five. And I'm telling you, most of these are like spot on dupes, literally spot on. If you don't follow C Color Cosmetics, definitely go in there and check it out. Check out some of Hot Mess Mama's videos because, you know, she does those videos of is it a waste of money or is it a dupe or is it a waste of money? And she has a code where you can save an additional 10% on anything that you buy off C Color Cosmetics. And she does do a lot of the comparisons of these against the, the high-end versions because I don't have a lot of the high-end versions of most of them. But I do have some, so I will, you know, be bringing out some more videos where I do actual comparisons of some of the C color. They do have dupes of Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. There used to be a site called Bad Habit, and Bad Habit did some Pat McGrath dupes. Now, I got a couple of these, but unfortunately, again, I don't have the original Pat McGrath. So these are called, this one is called Mystere. This was Bad Habit. Unfortunately, Bad Habit shut down and became Alter Ego, which is another really good site, but I don't think they carry these. So I don't know why that site got shut down or they decided to shut it down, but it stunk because you could get Pat McGrath shadow, you know, dupes of them for so much cheaper. But here is the dupe. Again, not 100% sure. I'll have to look it up on what one this dupes. So if anybody has it, you can compare it. I did find, I was lucky enough to be able to find this on eBay. I think it was eBay. Yeah, eBay. So you might get lucky and find, you know, some of these older palettes from Bad Habit on eBay. If you like Pat McGrath but don't want to spend that kind of, that kind of coin on her shadows. I have quite a few, I admit it. I'm a makeup addict. This one is called Cult Mayhem. When this one came, I think it's this one that come, yes, one color was shattered. I tried to press it back in there. I don't want to lift it too much because I don't want them to crumble out. But a few of these shadows, like I said, were shattered like that one and this one. I pressed them back in. You can kind of repack them with a little bit of alcohol, which... I tried to do, but again, I'm a novice. I'm not very good at that that kind of thing. So I did try to kind of press them back in there because they're super soft. Let me swatch a couple of these. Turn my camera a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's swatch that orange. They're very, very soft and, and creamy like the Pat McGrath shades are. Do I have any arm space? How about here? I put it on the hand. That is an orange. It almost looks like it's shifting to a pink, too. It doesn't look like that in person, only on camera. It looks like on camera it's shifting to a pink, but in person that's just really more of an orange copper color. But, oh, uh, gorgeous. Um, let me do, let me 
do this really dark blue in this one. I wish I could remember what these palettes duped of Pat McGrath's. I'll have to look it up. It's that smoky blue one down here. Almost looks black. It's a smoky blue. Ah, my silver. I really like my silver and it's it's really, really smashed. I'll press it down in here to try to get a good swatch of that silver. Could probably oh that's a mess. Maybe I ought to try to repack it with a little bit of alcohol. I'm just afraid I'll ruin it. I don't want to ruin it. That's the silver. That one is a little bit, a little bit flaky. Ah, uh, these colors. So they are a couple of the old bad habit. The mayhem and the mystere, mystere. So they duped the the Pat McGrath. But that's another one to check out is Alter Ego because they are, they used to be the bad habit. Um, I think mostly now they dupe a lot of the Natasha Denonas and things like that also. I'm not sure. I haven't been on Alter Ego in a while, but I have gotten some palettes off from there and it's, it's pretty neat. So I do have, which I almost forgot, almost forgot this one. So I have the Frost palette. So the Frost palette dupes the Kylie Cosmetics Nice palette. So again, I don't have the Nice palette, but I have the dupe. This is the dupe for the Kylie Cosmetics Nice palette. And that one is called Frost, and this is from the C Color Cosmetics. Now this one here, the Fairy Tale 2, this one I believe is the Gingerbread Spice Palette dupe and it's called Fairy Tale 2. This is a dupe for the Gingerbread Spiced by Too Faced. They have a lot of Urban Decay dupes, they have Huda dupes, Natasha Denona dupes. They just, they have so many and the prices are, some of these are like seven, eight dollars to buy these dupes. I mean, this is a plastic packaging. The other ones are cardboard. Um, I don't I don't mind the packaging myself, you know, for you're paying a fraction of the price of what you would pay if you were to buy the actual high-end product. So again, these dupes are phenomenal. You will not be disappointed if you pick some up. Like I said, the unisex ones I just looked last night, and you can get all five of those for $40. So that's less than $10 a, a palette um, for almost spot-on dupes. And you can see how they perform. This was the unisex one. It really went on easy. It went on fast. It went smooth. All the colors blended without an issue. I think it was probably one of the quickest eye looks I've done and didn't have to fix any messes. So it worked really well. But that is today's video, which is me going over some of the dupe palettes for higher end, end ones at a way, way cheaper price. You save a lot of coin that way. Again, if you want to check out some of the actual comparisons between the high end and the dupes that I just showed you, Hot Mess Mama does a lot of them, and she has a code for this site. So those five would be $40, but if you used her code, it would be, you know, 10% off that. So you'd get, what is that, four, $4 off. So instead of $40, it'd be like 30, 36. I think that's right. I'm trying to do it in my head. I, th I think I'm right. 10% <laughs> off 40 is four. Yeah, yeah, me, <laughs> $36. Whew, I'm smart when it comes to math, aren't I? <laughs> Woo! Anyway, that is all today. And watch out for my next video where I will be duping the, well, not duping, well, yeah, duping, the Kylie Cosmetics Sipping Pretty Palette, which is a really pretty palette, by the way. It's got a lot of reds. This one does stain your eyeballs because it's so pigmented, those, those hot pinks. And this red right here and that hot pink. Oops, sorry, I'm right out of camera. That hot pink and that red right there. They do, they, they stain. 
Um, but again, you know, wash it off with cleansing balm and throw some concealer over it the next day if you have to. It doesn't last long. So that was the, the Kylie. And again, the birthday bash. Which, to me, honestly, it's identical. Absolutely identical. And I think the Sipping Pretty one, I had a gift card. So I think I paid like 30 I don't know, between $35 and $38 or something like that for the original. And I feel like I only paid like 7 for this. Um, not 100% sure because I bought it like, I don't know, last year sometime, I think. So can't remember. But I know it wasn't more than 10 It was around, you know, 8 to $10 for this palette. And it's an exact dupe for the Kylie. I will come back on and do a video of a comparison. So I'll do one eye with Kylie and one eye with the C-Color Cosmetics and see if you guys can guess which one is which. All right, I, that is all for today. Signing out. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.